All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and get started. Welcome everyone. Welcome to our platform walkthrough uh, for Giving Tuesday 2024. Excited to talk about Giving Tuesday. Uh, my name is Lisa Galprin, I'm Marketing Communications Manager here at Mighty Cause. And we have actually a special guest here. Actually, she's our Community Development special, uh, Specialist and she'll be the one who will be actually walking through the platform and talking and walking you through how to utilize it for Giving Tuesday this year. So before we uh, get into our walkthrough, just a couple of housekeeping things and some information about Giving Tuesday. Uh, so if you have any questions throughout this webinar, uh, please utilize the questions and answer tool on your Zoom panel. I will monitor the chat to see if any questions come through there just in case. But uh, if you could direct your questions to the questions tool, um, it's much easier for us to see those questions pop up and we'll try to answer any questions throughout the webinar and we'll save time at the end as well. All right, just a little background about Mighty Cause for those of you who are not familiar with Mighty Cause or <laughs> I apologize for those who are, are very familiar with us, but we've been around the nonprofit space for a long time. Uh, we've uh, been in the nonprofit world since 2006. We're a year round fundraising platform, um, but we also host a Giving Tuesday event every year on our platform as well, giving nonprofits just like yourselves the opportunity to participate in one of the biggest days of giving in the year. So we offer a ton of different uh, resources and tools that you can utilize, which Ashley will talk through in just a little bit. So before we get into the walkthrough, why Giving Tuesday with Mighty Cause? Uh, so just some context around Giving Tuesday. Some of you may be already registered for our event. Some of you may not be. Uh, but Giving Tuesday is a day built for giving. It's, as I mentioned, one of the biggest giving days of the year. Uh, so it's your opportunity to raise funds for your organization. 30% um, of annual donation volume occurs between Giving Tuesday and December 31st. So it's probably one of the most important times of the year for any nonprofit. So how does Giving Tuesday work on Mighty Cause? So as I mentioned, we host an event every year. If you haven't done so already, you can register uh, for our event on, through our website. So givingtuesday.mightycause.com. Um, it's completely free to register. Um, the event this year, Giving Tuesday, takes place on December 3rd. Uh, and our early giving starts November 19th. Early giving is when any donation starting on November 19th will count towards any prizes. Uh, so from 19th to the 3rd, that's when any prizes you receive through the Giving Tuesday platform on Mighty Cause um, will be counted any prizes um, we have. Um, once you register, you'll have access to all of our toolkit material, templates, um, resource guides, etc. So um, if you have any questions or need any help registering, just let us know. Uh, so yeah, some of the things we've already talked about in terms of registering for Mighty Cause. So you'll have access to all the tools and features that Ashley will go through in just a second. You'll have the opportunity to win um, any of our prizes that we have available. Um, and we'll announce those um, later um, sometime in the fall. Um, and as well, you'll have access to, as I said, all of our guides and resources. All right, here is where you can register. Uh, once you register and submit your form, um, if you have not used the platform before, you'll be uh, you'll uh, head to your organization page and complete your to-do list. And then you will get approved once you com complete those two steps. So submitting your form and then completing your to-do list. Um, one of the things that Ashley will be also just uh, talking through or walking you through on the platform is that um, some of the tools and features on our platform are available on our Accelerate subscription plan. Um, so you're not required to subscribe to it, but um, Ashley will walk you through what those tools and features are just in case, um, you know, some of those tools and features are something that is going to be helpful and essential for you for Giving Tuesday. But otherwise, all of the other tools and features are available um, to you for free. And just a last thing, a couple of uh, save the dates before I pass it on to Ashley. Register today. 
uh, for Giving Tuesday. If you haven't registered our next webinar, and I apologize, that date has been corrected. It is actually Wednesday, August 28th. Um, that's when the next webinar will be. And I'll correct that in our follow-up email. Um, early Giving Tuesday, November 19th and Tuesday, December 3rd. Um, this webinar will be sent out via email and the recording will all be sent out so you don't have to worry about uh, trying to get a copy of it. All right, so I think that's it for me and I will pass the reins to Ashley to go into our walkthrough. Hello everyone. Hello, everyone. I'm certainly excited to be with you today and talk through our different features. One of the things as Lisa mentioned, we will touch on a few of our uh, subscription plans um, but please don't feel like you have to soak all of this all up at once. Um, the Because the webinars are recorded, you can come back at any time and just kind of take a look and catch up on, on anything that you've noticed. I do want to say welcome to our new organizations where this is your first time doing Giving Tuesday with Mighty Cause. So we're excited to have you. And for those of you who are returning, who've uh, celebrated or participated in Giving Tuesday on Mighty Cause before. Welcome back. Uh, we do have a couple of new features, so I'm excited to get to introduce you to those as we walk through the platform. Um, also, I'll be sure to let you know what items are part of a subscription and what aren't. We just want to make sure that everybody has the whole view because there's a lot of really great tools that can be super helpful for Giving Tuesday, depending on uh, where you are as an organization. Uh, the first thing that I want to share with you is the to-do list that Lisa mentioned. Every organization page will look the same and that it has just a standard formatting and the your dashboard is going to be all the way to the left and just to the right of the dashboard is your to-do list. And this is where you can see what items you've completed, what items you have left to complete. And as you go through the each item will just automatically check off. Uh, the couple of key pieces on your organization profile page, uh, first and foremost, the edit button is in the upper right corner. When you turn the edit mode off, you'll be able to see what your supporters are going to see and what your donors are going to see. You can even hide the dashboard. So that is all just a kind of a quick, quick thing that will be super helpful as you're editing your page. A couple of key things is the first is your about section. And it's really just for you to share with the world what your organization is about. Uh, we do have opportunities for you to edit. You can have videos, you can have images, you can have hyperlinks. Uh, it's really uh, just kind of an open canvas for whatever you would like to share with your donors. We do encourage you not to have too much that sends them all around the internet because we want to keep them focused on, on donating. So this is your about section at the very bottom of the page. We do have a data organization section and it's at the very bottom of the page. And this is where you're gonna have your, kind of your crucial information, contact information for nonprofit, for your nonprofit. So it is something that if you are returning to us from last year, I would say, go ahead and take a peek, make sure things like the contact email and phone number are still up to date. And certainly if you have an address change or something like that. So that's a key piece that uh, a lot of times can get overlooked, especially if you're returning. So uh, heading back up to the very top, I hope I'm not making anyone too dizzy. Uh, we wanna make sure that we have our about section updated. We wanna make sure that that organization data at the bottom of the page is ready to go. And then another great piece is our metrics. And this provides not only the goal bar, but also you can customize whether or not to show the amount that you've already raised and the number of donors. What the system is sort of defaulted to do is to include the donations for all time, calculate for all time. You can adjust this and we strongly encourage you to update this to start the calculation at a specific date. And for that, I would recommend November 19th because it is the start of early giving. So once you make that adjustment, you click okay, then your goal bar will reset to zero so that donations coming in for Giving Tuesday, it'll only show those that count for Giving Tuesday. Uh, donations made November 19th 
up through Giving Tuesday are what qualifies for leaderboards and prizes. So we just want to give that uh, proper reflection to our donors. The next probably most important piece of your uh, profile page is the donate button. And one of the things that we try to do is provide as much uh, personal customization as possible and in that you can customize your donation flow as well. You're going to do that on through the checkout tab on your, your dashboard on the left side. So within checkout, the initial thing that your donors are going to see is that donation form. Here you can add whether or not, or it's, it's up to you if you want to add donation suggestion amounts with descriptions. If not, you could just leave it at the default that we provide 25, 50, 75, and 100, but you are welcome to change those up if you would like to just select the pencil next to the donation amount and add the description if you would like. And certainly donors are welcome to add in uh, their own donation amount if they would like. Something also to consider as we go into Giving Tuesday, if you want to have a campaign geared towards monthly giving, we have a standard option for the donor to give once or to give a monthly recurring gift. But if you want to gear your campaign towards recurring gifts, you can select the settings icon and you can default your donations, your donation, your checkout flow to the monthly donation. The donor would still have the option to give a one-time gift. We don't want to exclude that option, but it will default to $50 a month, $100 a month, whatever you add as your donation descriptions. So that is an option that's there. We also provide, and this is something that you can choose to do or not choose to do, you can include dedications within your checkout flow if you want to give your donors the option to do that. We also have the option, you can add designations. To add a designation, you're automatically gonna have a general fund that your donors can give to, or you could add something, let's say that you're a humane society or uh, just for animals in general, if you wanna list the different types of animals, if you want to have the designation for just for food, for medical supplies, for administrative needs, for emergency costs, you can add that if you would like. All of that information that is collected through the checkout flow will be available in your donations report. So you'll be able to see what each donor wanted for their donation. You can also add a customizable question. This could be anything. You can ask the donor if they've ever given before. You can ask if they would like to be part of your e-newsletter. You can ask what their favorite animal is or how they heard about you. So it's totally up to you. You don't have to have a question, but you're welcome to. You can also have different answer types if you want to have them type in an answer or if you want to get very specific on the information, the data you're trying to receive, then you can, for example, have a drop down menu of different answers or have radio buttons, check boxes. It's up to you. All of this is going to be found in that donation form. When your donor clicks the donate button on your organization page, this is the form that they're going to see. In addition, you'll have the option to customize your thank you message. Your thank you page is essentially that donation confirmation page, but we want it to be more than just your donation went through. This is your opportunity to thank your donor for the first time. And also this is where you can redirect your donor to back to your website. If you wanna direct them to an upcoming initiative or campaign that's going on, you can add that here. The donor would click the redirect button and you're engaging them all the more. We also have a customizable donation receipt. We automatically send the receipts via email as soon as the donation is submitted. You can customize that language, your thank you message on that donation receipt. And all of that can be found within the checkout flow or excuse me, within the checkout tab on your dashboard. Now we're gonna we're gonna move away a little bit for a second from that donor. Um, yeah. Actually, not to interrupt you, just a couple of questions that have come through. Um, for monthly donation options, can there be more than four preset options? Yes, we have, it's technically an unlimited amount uh, underneath our, the four that are just default to there. 
there's the option to add more. And for example, if we wanted to add 25 more, we could, but we don't recommend that we have too many more options just out of, from a visual, the more options you give a donor, the more, not necessarily confused, but the it's not always good to give them more, the more clicks, the more options sometimes can deviate from our, the true campaign that we're doing, but you do have the option to add as many as you would like. Another question is, um, for those with paid subscriptions, can we adjust the language slash write-up with dedications and designations? The, the format or the verbiage of both the dedication section and the designation, designation section, that's standard. So we can't adjust that verbiage. You can certainly opt whether or not to use it, to not use it, but the verbiage will stay the same. Yeah, one workaround though, if you have very specific language that you want to include is you may want to consider then um, just disabling the dedication tool, for example, and then just adding your own custom question with the language and the verbiage that you want. Um, but that those set tools, yes, they don't, um, the default language is, is not editable. editable. In a quick follow-up to that, within the subscriptions, you do have, with the, our Accelerate subscription, you have up to 10 customizable questions. So there's there's wiggle room there if you need to do that and you still want to ask other data informational questions. Can donors, and just last question, can donors choose more than one category, general $25 scholarship on $1,000? So the because the donation is only going to be a single amount, the options when we have the donation suggestion amounts, you can only select one at a time. If you wanted to give more, then if the donor wanted to give more and the donation amount, they could add their own denomination to, to donate. Depending what some organizations will do is they'll have for that custom question, they'll just have another, the, the question will be other or notes. And the donor could then leave a note as to where they would like their, their donation to be designated. And also if you like, so uh, it's kind of one transaction. If someone else wanted it, or if the same donor wanted to make a donation to another fund that you have or another program you have, um, they would just have to make, it would be like they made their first donation to the first program and then they go ahead and make their second donation but they can always do so through one um, cart flow they can just select add to cart in the donation flow and then go back add, add your second one and then they won't have to enter their credit card information more than once i hope that made sense so they can do it in one flow but it's like two separate transaction or donations that they're putting in if that makes sense huh? And just as a quick follow-up to that, we do have the option, a lot of donors give to more than one organization. So when the donor is going through the checkout flow and I'm selecting who and how much I want to give, I'll have the option here if I'm to log in. And when I'm logged in and I'm using my user account, that's what's then going to give me the option to add that to my cart, go back, make any changes if I need to. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna jump over to our overview section. This is gonna be more, this is not for what your donors see. This is for you as the organization. Uh, not only can you check out your to-do list top of the page, we also have the to-do list option to view it here. This main page, a couple of quick things. It's just a really quick view to see some of your stats, some of your metrics. And it also is where we're gonna make our announcements. So when we have, new webinars coming up, if we're putting out new social media toolkits, anything along those lines, we're, you're going to have an announcement that shows up on the right side of your page so that you can jump right to registering or checking out those new tools when prizes are announced, things like that. That's going to be here. So this is where you're going to want to check in every now and then, not just to see the activity on your page, but also to see what is happening just in regards to Giving Tuesday as a whole. But this is just for you and any of your, the admins uh, for your page. 
I'm going to jump now to our fundraising tools. There's a lot in this section. And first, we're going to look at the widget. So sort of in sight with that donation checkout flow. The widget is something that we offer. You're able to embed this on into your website. So it's a mini donation form that you can embed into your website. Donors can come here because you're making that widget through Giving Tuesday, through your Giving Tuesday page. Any donation that's made through the widget is also going to account for Giving Tuesday. So the donor doesn't have to come into your organization profile page to click donate. They can do it right from your website. We know that the fewer clicks the donor has to do, the more likely they are to donate. So this is a super great option. They also will be able to select a recurring monthly donation if they're using the widget. So it can be uh, super helpful. We do take the donation suggestion amounts within the widget. There's only four options. And we do take that information from the checkout form that we just looked at. So that's how you would, in essence, create the widget, so to speak. And then you would have just below the widget on this page is where you're gonna label what you would have your widget because you can embed more than one. So you can label this as Giving Tuesday. And then, and we'll just do a quick label. And then you can also list where you're going to be embedding this form. So whatever URL this particular widget is going to be embedded to or within, you'll have this listed here. And that's going to be for your reference going forward so you know what widget is where. And then you're going to generate your code. Once you generate that code, that you're going to then, it's, it will already be copied and you'll embed it into the back end of your website. All of your widgets, those are going to be listed here. So we know this is for the donate page. We know this is for Giving Tuesday. And then we can follow along just as a real brief view how much has been raised where. Not only do we have the donation, like the mini form, but you also have the option just to have a donate button or a thumbnail. It's whatever works best for your nonprofit, for your website. If you would like to sign up for one of our subscriptions within Accelerate and also within our essential subscription, we have an embeddable form. Now the embedded form is the full checkout flow. It's the whole thing. So if you wanna have questions, you can have your questions listed here. You're back to having unlimited donation suggestion amounts. So all of that also you can default whether or not you want a monthly or one-time donation, that full checkout form would be part of the Accelerate or the Essential subscription. And again, any donation that's made through this form will still count towards Giving Tuesday. Another option for donating is through our campaigns. And within the campaigns, this is where we have those peer-to-peer -peer pages. We're going to come back to that. This is our campaigns report. We're going to come back to this in just a moment. I wanna show you what our different campaign pages look like. To begin, we'll take a look at our event page. The event page is fully built out. This is an example of a campaign that has been held on our through our platform a number of years. Within the event page, the, the hope or the intent, one of the options is that you'll have multiple teams and multiple fundraisers within an event page. We'll take a look at those in a quick moment. The event page gives you that about section where you can share what is this event for so that people have that immediate information. They can certainly donate here or they can donate on a team page. In this case, this illustration, this is a school that, again, they host the Servathon year after year. They break up their grade levels into different teams. So each grade level is a team. A team page is just condensed a little bit more from that event page. There's still a leaderboard of all of the participants within that team. Those participants are the individual fundraisers. They still have their, they'll have their donate button. They have their about section. The key thing is all of their fundraisers, those individual participants are listed in the leaderboard. Each of those participants have their own fundraiser page. The fundraiser page, this is what's often used for the peer-to-peer -peer fundraising, doesn't have to be part of a team. 
or it can be part of a team or part of an event. The individual fundraiser page, you can also use for just any time you're, you're having a campaign. It has certainly the donate button, the goal bar, and further down it has the about section where you can share specifically about this particular campaign. It also lists the different giving activity that have come that has come to this particular page. And then all of the funds that are raised through this page, because it's part of a team, this fundraiser, these funds are then combined within the team goal bar. All of the teams, they then filter back into that main event and you can see how much the whole event, all the teams together have raised. That's just like a very quick breakdown of each campaign page that we offer with each one. It has its own dashboard, its own reporting, but that's just a real quick breakdown. So within that campaigns report, you'll be able to see any fundraiser that's been created, any team that's been created, any event that's been created, whether you create it or one of your supporters creates it. Now, for the most part with Giving Tuesday, we see a lot of peer-to-peer -peer campaigns that aren't necessarily part of a team or part of an event. And in light of that, we know that you as the organization want to make it as easy as possible for your fundraisers to create that fundraiser page. So what we've done is in your fundraising tools on your dashboard, we've provided a fundraiser template. Within that template, you can create, you can either create a brand new one or if you already have one, you can create the content for those fundraisers. Now the template doesn't lock in the information. Your fundraisers can create a fundraiser page and they can adjust any of this information. Most likely they're gonna adjust the title, they're gonna add their name or they're gonna make it something that's sort of fun and reflects who they are. They can certainly change their goal amount, they can change the fundraiser image, but by providing this information to them to begin with, it makes it so much easier for your fundraisers to go ahead and take that plunge and create a page can be a little daunting when they think they have to create it all on their own. So providing that fundraiser template is a great way to, to get the ball rolling for them. When you create your template here in your fundraising tools, what that's tied to, I'm gonna go back to our organization page, what that's tied to is when someone comes and clicks that fundraise button. They'll automatically be ushered through the process and they'll have that option for the template. The, you don't have to use the template, it's just it's just an option. Uh, within that campaigns report, to go back there just to touch real quickly, you can download your campaign report. There's a lot of filtering that you can do if you only wanna see your fundraisers. You can also look up based on the owner. So if it's an admin, someone who's an admin for your page or if it's someone who's peer to peer. So there's a lot of features there that you're gonna take advantage of after Giving Tuesday as well, just cause you're gonna to wanna to follow up with all of those supporters. A couple of other quick things within the fundraising tools. We do offer an opportunities option. Within opportunities, what that is, you can create either in-person or online interaction with your donors or your supporters. And what I mean by that is, we'll take a look here back on our organization page. I'm gonna click out of edit mode just so you can see what it'll look like. Below your giving activity, your featured campaigns and your matches, you're going to have this get involved area because giving Tuesday is more than just donations. And we want to get people involved with your nonprofit. The opportunities is part of our accelerated plan, part of our subscription. But what it does is it gives you the opportunity to list different things that are going on, whether it's a volunteer opportunity, or if you have different info sessions that you do, maybe you do different zoom meetings, you can create these opportunities here. People can register here. And then when you're looking at your participant section or your, let me go back. When you're looking back on your goal, on your dashboard in the opportunities section, you can pull up who your participants are. You can email your participants so you can get that engagement going. And Giving Tuesday is just a great time to uh, advertise those different opportunities. So that's just a, a quick thing that you can use. And another option as far as stewarding those donors and that donor 
engagement. What we offer as part of our Accelerate plan, again, is automated emails. So the great thing with these automated emails, it's that first interaction that you want with anyone who's created a peer-to-peer -peer campaign, a welcome message for your new donors, and a reminder message for your returning donors or your past donors, hopefully returning donors. The key thing with this is it saves you so much time and you're still interacting with your supporters. So for example, with our peer-to-peer -peer custom message, you can create the content of your, your message and this email will automatically go out to anyone who creates a peer-to-peer -peer campaign. So if they create that peer-to-peer -peer fundraiser page, they're gonna automatically get this welcome email. You can include your next steps, certainly thank them for participating. And this is gonna relieve you of having to do that every time you see an email of a new created peer-to-peer -peer campaign. And it also makes sure that all of your supporters get that information that they need. In line with that, the welcome message. So if you have new donors and you wanna start stewarding them right away, you can, again, customize the content of that email, it'll go out automatically within 48 hours of that first donation. So they'll receive their donation receipt and then they'll receive this first welcome email. Another super great feature with that yearly donation reminder, for any of you who are returning Giving Tuesday organizations, a lot of your donors, they gave last Giving Tuesday. So this is the perfect time to send that reminder email and we're happy to, to do that for you, in essence, when you set up that automated reminder. It's one more thing that's off your plate in a very busy giving season. And it's, again, it's another way just to make that contact with your donors that keeps you back in the front of their mind. Again, that is one of our subscription features, but a super great opportunity for Giving Tuesday. And the last feature within our fundraising tools portion of the dashboard are matching grants. Matching grants are super big when it comes to our giving events. They're a great way to motivate donors. And they're also a really great way to highlight some of your, your bigger donors who support your campaign so or support your nonprofit. So within matching grants, one of the things that we, we do is we provide your upcoming grants, the grants that are currently live and any of your past grants. When you create a new giving a, a new matching grant, you'll have the option to name the sponsor. Filling out the information here is what creates the grant. The grant won't go live until the time frame that you set. Now you could either have it queued to start right after a, a live event. So that let's say you have four matching grants, which would be amazing. And they start with early giving on November 19th. You can have those grants queued to start one right after another. As soon as one is completed, the other begins. The other option, if let's say you only have one or two matching grants and they're only for specific time periods, you can set that match to begin whenever you want it to begin using, our, and then sorry, you can set it to begin whenever you want it to begin. And then you can list that expiration date. So if that match is only good for four hours and you really want a sprint to get that met, then you can have it end four hours after it begins and the match will automatically be removed from your organization profile page. What I mean by that is when we look at this organization profile page, there's currently a live match. That'll be noted not only here on your organization page, but also in our search feature. So people will know that you are offering a match at this time. If we go back down below our different featured campaigns, we'll see here's the match that's happening. We're gonna see how much time is left, but also how much money is left in that match. Once this match is met, we see that there's this is one of three. We'll see any other queued up matches automatically come to, come to play. So the matching grant option is huge. Not everyone will make it down to this part of your profile page, but for those who do, for, they're gonna be able to see not only the name, but they're gonna see who sponsored it. So for example, if it's a humane society and there's a pet store 
that is sponsoring this match, they're going to get that, that credit there. They're going to get that advertisement. So the matching grants, super huge deal. When it comes to Giving Tuesday, I would say go ahead and get working on those sponsors as soon as you can. Now that sort of rounds out our fundraising tools portion. The next section that we're gonna take a quick look at are is the reporting section. Within reports, you certainly have your, your full donation report, any donation that comes in through your, your nonprofits page. There's all kinds of filters that you can do where you can filter specifically for a giving event, specifically for a year. So that's somewhat um, self-explanatory as you click around, you can certainly download your reports and that's where you're gonna get the CSV file of all of that donor information that's provided through the checkout flow. But the two key pieces I wanna touch on, not the recurring donations, although we do have that, I wanna to touch on the retention report. Again, this is huge for any organization that's returning to Mighty Cause for Giving Tuesday, or if you've used us in the past for other uh, campaigns that you've held. The retention report is great because you can see who is given and who hasn't within that last year. So just as a quick look, we would be able to see that Grace has been retained and Bethany and Tom have not. We can also break that down between retained and not retained. The key thing is you can filter through the time period. Now, once you're set up and you're in Giving Tuesday 2024, you're fully registered, Giving Tuesday 24 will be one of those date range options. I like to use the custom date range option. For example, we can see that between January and July of 2023, Grace donated and we have retained grace between January 2024 and July 2024. Now, if we want to look at everyone, we'll see who we haven't retained. So this can be really helpful when you're creating your segmented lists for how you're going to be emailing and doing your outreach to different the different um, sections of your donors, those who you've retained and those who you haven't. So this can be super helpful. Again, you can download that into a CSV file as well. And the last quick thing within reporting is your disbursements. Now this is just our demo site, so we don't have disbursements, but once those donations start to roll in with our direct deposit option for disbursements, we disperse twice a month. With checks, we disperse once a month. And anytime a disbursement is made to your organization, you will be able to access that here in your disbursements report. That's going to show all of the donors that donated within that disbursement report. Your donations report will show all of your donors and you can select that time period. Your disbursement report will show just those in the specific disbursement timeframe. So reporting is super big deal. Mostly you're going to use that after Giving Tuesday, except for that retention report that that'll provide that extra information before Giving Tuesday. So moving down and jumping to our integrations. Integrations, it is part of a subscription that we offer. The integrations are really helpful when it comes to just taking items off your plate. It's sort of um, just given by the name, it's gonna integrate with the different uh, software that you already have. So for example, a key piece that we use with Zapier. Zapier we use as sort of a middleman for a lot of software that we don't directly integrate with. For example, we directly integrate with Salesforce and MailChimp, but let's say that you have constant contact. What we do is we use Zapier. There's Zapier is a free option to stand as that middleman. And you can use them, a, a ton of different options, a few of them that you can see here. Gmail, let's say with Google Sheets, let's say that you don't have a CRM but you do track your donor information through Google Sheets. Well, when you make that integration and you line that up with Zapier to Mighty Cause, that information, that donor information, as soon as the donation is made, will be automatically uploaded into your Google Sheets. Same thing would work with QuickBooks Online. That information you're not then copying and moving and downloading and changing, we automatically do that integration for you so that your donor information flows seamlessly as soon as that donation is made. You can also 
uh, set up with, let's say, Constant Contact or with Gmail that triggers those different journeys that you want to have with your donors right away. So it can be super helpful. Again, not only is it taking something off of your plate, but you're also making sure that donors aren't missed in the process. Another great option with integrations is our Google Analytics and Facebook Pixel, but those Google Analytics, that's going to show you, take a look at how many people have come to your website but have actually donated through the, whether it's the widget or the donate button. That information helps you not only during that early giving to Giving Tuesday time, but it also lets you know as you're looking back, how is our traffic? What activity is really happening? What's successful? And which campaigns or which advertising wasn't quite as successful as we were hoping? So the integrations can be super helpful, especially during major giving season time. And along those lines of just donor information, donor data, I'm gonna take us back up to our supporters feature and we are just gonna dip our toe very lightly. Supporters is part of, it, there's a portion of supporters that's available through our essentials subscription and also through the Accelerate subscription, the entire supporters tool opens up. And within all of those features, part of what you're able to do is you see anyone who's interacted with your organization through the Mighty Cause platform. So that could be that somebody donated and they organized a campaign page. It could be that they are only an admin on your page. It could be that they were an offline donor. So we automatically list the role of the donor or the supporter based on how they've interacted with the platform. Then you have the option to go through and add additional tags so that you're able to see who all of your supporters are. You're able to download, you're able to filter, and you're able to then interact with your donors through messaging here. Um, you can also check out their individual profiles. There's a lot that you can do within this CRM tool that helps you know what's going on with our different supporters, who is doing what, who hasn't been active in a while. And you can do all of that just right here through Mighty Cause. I'm gonna stop there with supporters. There's a lot that goes on there, but for the sake of, of Giving Tuesday, I'm gonna jump on down to our last thing which is the settings tab on your dashboard. Within settings, there's a couple of things that you wanna take a look at. And this is primarily gonna be not only for new organizations, but for returning organizations, there's some things that you're gonna to wanna to double check. The first is gonna be your social sharing. The image that you add here and the verbiage that you add, this is what donors are gonna be able to see or supporters will see when they go to share your page. When they share your page, it's gonna automatically, for example, take them to Facebook and it will have your write-up and the image that you've inserted here in your social sharing. So you wanna make sure that the verbiage is good for Giving Tuesday and for Giving Tuesday 2024. So you might wanna come in, just double check any of your, your dates or anything like that, but also double check the image. You might wanna update that to something that's taken place this year, or if you have a new logo or anything like that, you'll wanna make sure that that's been updated here. In addition, we have alternate search names. Within Giving Tuesday, the Giving Tuesday platform, there is the search page where donors can go to find their different nonprofits. So if you're a nonprofit, you have your legal name, but if you're known for something else in your community, Go ahead, go ahead and add those names here. There's up to two options. I would say any two names that you might be known as, go ahead and add them. It just helps in that when your donors are searching, it'll help them find you that much faster. It's not required, but it's a highly recommended if, if you do go by any other name. So that those two items are gonna be found in the settings portion within your general settings tab. The next key piece is going to be what we reference as disbursement settings. This is where you're gonna set up your EFT for disbursements. You are welcome to receive those disbursements via, via check. There is a $5 check processing fee. So we highly recommend go ahead, jump on in here, set up an EFT option for those disbursements. You also get disbursements twice a month that way. So you get your, your funds a little bit faster and there's no $5 processing fee. 
So that's certainly a great tool to set up. And if you have set that up in the past, jump on in here, double check, make sure everything is up to date. And the very last piece is a super important piece. Within the admin section of your page, of, of, on your dashboard, any admin that you assign or any, I should say, any user account that has admin status to your page, they're gonna be able to access any of the information that we looked at today. So that's gonna include donation reports, campaign reports, all of that information, they'll have access and they'll be able to make edits. So now is a good time, if you've used Mighty Cause in the past, come on in, take a look at your admin section, see if there's anyone that needs to be removed, who's maybe they're no longer with your organization or their role at your organization has changed. But also, whether you've been with us for a while or you're brand new, come on in and add anyone who's gonna need to have access. As a personal thought, I think it's always great to have at least two admins. Giving season gets crazy. We don't know how heavy, how big, how overloaded your plate might become, and you're gonna need that extra pair of hands that can come in and make either some quick edits or do a double check here or there. But also, it's a crazy time of the year, and we don't know. You might end up out of the office unexpectedly, and someone else will still be able to come in and make that those activity changes that you need to make. So come in, check to see who you need to add, who, need, who you need to re remove to add an admin, you just go right up here, super simple. If you need to remove an admin, go ahead and select the toolbar here and you can edit their information, you can remove them or send them a message if you need to. So within all of these different sections on your dashboard, you're gonna be able to access anything and everything. You're gonna be able to customize, you're gonna be able to interact with your donors, interact with your supporters and create just a really great presentation of your organization on Giving Tuesday through your organization page. Key things, you're gonna be sending out your URL to all of your supporters in every bit of uh, marketing that you're doing. So you're gonna to wanna to be sending them here to this page. You're gonna want it to be set up, ready to go as soon as possible so that this, this part of Giving Tuesday is behind you and you can focus in on those marketing things, but nothing is set in stone. Everything that we took a look at can be edited, can be changed. So don't feel like you're locked in. It's your page. Make it what you want it to be. If you need to make changes, no worries. Come on in and do that. And of course, we're certainly here if you have any questions along the way. Lisa, that sums up what I have. Are there any questions or do you have anything that you would like to add? One of the questions that came through was uh, just about our accelerate plan versus what do you get what if you just register for Giving Tuesday? If you could just walk through again super briefly of just the clarification of the two. Within your when you register for Giving Tuesday, you'll know whether or not you receive the item and the best way is just through the visual. Any item that's uh reserved behind Accelerate or Essentials is gonna be listed with Accelerate or Essentials. If you see the flame, then that means it's part of a subscription. If there's no flame, for example, fundraiser templates, then you are good to go with your Giving Tuesday registration. And in terms of just like in a broader sense, so really all of the things that you need to fundraise, so like peer-to-peer -peer fundraiser templates, like all of the reporting, um, matching grants, all of the essential things that you need, you have access through by registering for Giving Tuesday. Um, the things that are within the subscription are the more advanced features, like our CRM system, like our automated emails, like text to give. Um, so everything that you need for Giving Tuesday is available on um, just by registering. Uh, but if you have any other questions about the two plans, um, please let us know and i um, more than happy to clarify. Any other questions? All right. Um, uh, so just a question about, will this webinar will be provided? Yes. Yeah. So this webinar will email this out, a recording um, and just the brief slide deck that I shared before. Um, this will also be added to the Giving Tuesday toolkit as well. 
um, if you uh, need to access it any time in the future. Um, can we get one-on-one -on -one help from Mighty Cause? Um, feel free to reach out to our support team if it's something that requires like for us to get on a call and talk with you. We're more than happy to do that. Um, but let us know your question. Um, just send us an email, support at mightycause.com. It helps us uh, get some frame of reference as to your organization and the issue you're um, running into. Uh, I've registered as an admin for my organization, but I've not received a confirmation. Um, so that's actually a good question. So if you have requested or if you've registered for Giving Tuesday and you aren't an admin yet, or you've requested to be an admin of an organization, um, what happens is actually our verification system. So any organization um, or anyone who tries to become an admin for their organization on the platform, if there aren't any other administrators, um, that have used the platform before, we verify that you are who you say you are. So we go to check, you know, your email address, your information to make sure that the right person has access to your page on Mighty Cause. So if you haven't been approved yet, you're just, it's through the verification process. If we have any question, questions or issues with your verification, um, we'll send you an email, um, to ask for more information, but otherwise you will be approved, um, within next 24 to 48 hours. Um, and yeah, as I mentioned, this video will be shared uh, in an email, uh, most likely sent out uh, tomorrow or on Monday. Any other questions? Okay, I don't see any other questions in, so I will, oh, one last one. Uh, we are building a social impact company that is not a nonprofit. We will give corporate and allow for donations to be selected. Can your platform work for this? Um, so our platform, so in order to collect donations on our platform, you must be a 501c3 charitable organization. Um, so all donations that are processed on Mighty Cause are processed through a donor advised fund, Mighty Cause Charitable Foundation. Um, so this allows donations for donors to be tax deductible immediately. This allows us to send donation receipts. So you guys don't have to worry about sending the donation receipts. We handle all of that. Um, but because all of donations are processed through a donor advised fund, um, we have to make sure that we are re-advising funds to 501c3 public charities. So um, you're more than um, welcome to participate if you are one. Um, unfortunately, if you don't have your charitable status yet, you won't be able to participate. However, a common um, solution that a lot of new nonprofits um, may utilize temporarily is um, receiving a fiscal sponsorship. So if there is another nonprofit that you have a relationship with or connection, or if there's another nonprofit that um, does you know similar work uh, that you can reach out to? Um, some other nonprofits will fiscally sponsor new nonprofits um, and allow them to fundraise underneath their tax EIN. Um, so that's something you would have to reach out to them, and then if they agree, you can reach out to us, and we will work with you to set up a page uh, based off that information. Okay. All right, I think that's all the questions now, but if anything else, any other questions come up, feel free to um, email us, support at mightycause.com. Thank you so much, Ashley, for the walkthrough. Um, I hope this was helpful for everyone that's participating in Giving Tuesday. Um, we're all excited to see you guys, uh, all the campaigns you, you'll create. All right, well, I'm going to end it here. Thank you so much, everyone, and have a great day. Thank you, Lisa.